Shortly after starting prep, I've got to say that I did go crazy. Um, I changed my status in the hookup apps uh, from condoms only to taking prep and I got invited to a few group group gatherings at people's houses, of uh, which I did go to. Uh, I also went to a sauna in Lisbon uh, and had fun with two couples uh, from Brazil and a Frenchman. And the Frenchman was specifically interesting because while we were, he spoke in French the whole way through and that was so hot. Please note, I am not a medical professional. Nothing in this video should be considered medical advice. This is just my experience of taking PrEP. If you wish to start taking PrEP, please consult your doctor or local sexual health clinic for professional advice. I'm just a gay bear with a YouTube channel. I requested PrEP from my local hospital and they put me in touch with my local sexual health doctor who happened to be a very conservative man who was very close to the age of retirement and he was more used to dealing with pregnancy and couples trying to have babies than dealing with PrEP. In fact, he never dealt with PrEP and I was the first person to ever request PrEP at my local hospital. This is because I live in a very rural community. Just to give you an idea, there's only 350 people in my village and there's only 100,000 people in the capital of my province. So that gives you an idea of the kind of area where I live. Anyway, after long conversations with the doctor, the doctor wanted me to go and take a psychiatric evaluation. The reason why he wanted me to take a psychiatric evaluation was because I was wanting to have sex with more than one person and I wasn't actively looking for a husband. I did explain to the doctor that I had been in a relationship for the last 10 years. Uh, well, two guys over the course of 10 years, five, five years each. And now I was recently single and I just wanted to go out and have some fun. In fact, I just wanted to go out and enjoy my 40s because I spent my 30s in relationships. So after a long conversation with the doctor, he did eventually issue me with PrEP. And I've got to be honest, for the first few months, I went a little crazy. I live on the line between four different provinces and there are four different capitals of different provinces in an hour for an hour in each direction and when I changed my status on the hookup apps from condoms only to I'm taking prep all of a sudden I started getting invites to go to sex parties <laughs> so yeah I basically went to a fair amount of sex parties. Um, I also went to a sauna in Lisbon and I did a video about that but what I didn't mention in that video is that in the sauna in Lisbon I had fun with two couples and a Frenchman. The Frenchman for me was really special because I'd been wanting to sleep with a Frenchman for a long time and it was on my bucket list and this Frenchman was tall and beautiful and he spoke in French the whole way through because I, I, I guess it was automatic for him but for me it was fantastic. It was really liberating to go and do that. For the first time in my life sex wasn't scary. I grew up in the 1980s and I grew up in the 1990s and I remember, um, I've done a video about this, about you know the fear of AIDS in the 1980s and the fear of AIDS in the 1990s. And when I was a teenager, I just was convinced that AIDS would be what killed me. So, but this experience was totally new. And I felt that it must have, this is what the 1970s must have felt like for people where HIV wasn't even a thing and condoms weren't even a thought and it was just a case of like just go straight at it and and don't think about the consequences and it yeah it was really really liberating but 
it did take me about two and a half to three weeks for me to actually get used to the idea of not using a condom. I think the first time I didn't use a condom, I'd been taking prep, yeah, already for like two, two and a half weeks. Um, and I, <laughs> I met a guy off of an app. Uh, we went out, had some drinks, and then he came back to my house, and then things got exciting. And before I knew it, I was doing it for the first time uh, without a condom, and it was like mind blowing. Uh, part of my brain was going, This is wrong, you should be using a condom. This is wrong, you should be using a condom. And the other part of my brain was going, Calm down. <laughs> this morning you took a pill, and that pill means you don't have to use a condom. Now, I know that there are people out there now shouting at their computer saying that's not true because the official advice with PrEP is that you take PrEP and you use a condom. And then people will also probably write in the comments that I'm misusing PrEP. But honestly, I don't know anyone who takes PrEP and still uses a condom because <laughs> because the, the rate of infection with condoms and PrEP are so... They're, they're both the rate of risk is both so similar that yeah I haven't met anyone who who takes prep and still uses condoms so I basically didn't but yes you could argue that I was misusing prep so yeah after my initial woohoo of going on prep going out going to sex parties going to a sauna having sex with a beautiful french man and then still hooking up with guys off of the hookup apps i after about 6 months and this is this is where sort of the story changes i actually realized that after the initial like woohoo it actually wasn't making me feel fulfilled like plowing the field of every, not every guy that I met, but plowing the field of many guys that I met wasn't actually bringing me like inner fulfillment. And I kind of started to feel like it was just an empty sort of dopamine hit. So I spoke to my sexual health doctor and I said to him, look, I've heard that you can go on prep and take it like case by case. So I take it when I need it. And he was like, yeah, you can do that. And I said, okay, I'd like to do that. And he explained to me how that worked. And that's what I've been doing now for maybe the last four months. In actual fact, honestly, I've been totally celibate for the last three months. Um, I've been really busy. I've, been work I've decided that I would rather work on myself than go out and plow the field of almost strangers. And I've been working, I've been going back to the gym, I've tried to start to go running again, I've been learning another language, and I've been building the gay bear. So that's kind of where my story ends, is that essentially I got prep, I went crazy, uh, I was really lucky that I didn't catch anything that burned, itched or oozed. And then after that I kind of felt like it was kind of unfulfilling and then I, I decided that I would rather just work on myself instead. And that's where my story ends. So I, I hope you enjoyed my story about taking prep. Um, maybe this might guide you into making some choices. You know, once again, as I said at the beginning of this video, this is not medical advice. I'm not a medical professional. This is just literally my story. But maybe the decisions that I made might help you with some of yours. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you in next week's episode. Bear kisses. Mwah. Hey, I hope you liked my video about my experience of taking prep. If you did, why not hit the like button and let me know? And if you'd like to see more videos from me, why not hit the subscribe button? Because I make new videos every single week.